What is going on YouTube? Hannah back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be talking about everyone's favorite Shiba Inu. There's a lot of stuff actually happening right now that we do need to bring up and mention. As you can see, we did actually break bearish slightly from our resistance level and bottom support that we did call yesterday. And then you can see we're immediately reversing and this is a good time to be making this video, but we're immediately reversing back out of that and actually breaking through not only a massive downtrend, but our top resistance and our price ceiling. So there's a lot to actually talk about and, and think about right here. So we are going to go in depth about this. I also want to give a huge shout out to everybody that watched yesterday's video. 11,000 views on Shiba Inu. Pretty crazy. Uh, thanks for everyone for watching. That pretty much means to me that I'm going to keep making Shiba Inu videos that you guys like it. Um, but hopefully it just gives you another perspective on looking at the Shiba Inu technical analysis. We've pretty much called every single, uh, you know, symmetrical triangle and, and triangular fractal that forms here on Shiba Inu. But with all that being said, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and let's take advantage of this next Shiba Inu run. So guys, as you can see, a quick refresh of the cryptocurrencies. SHIB's actually up 13.75% in the past seven days and actually up 7.57% in the past 24 hours, which is pretty cool because it's acting indifferent and honestly like the opposite of the way all these other cryptocurrencies are moving. Pretty much every crypto right now had a major dumpage yesterday, except for SHIB. SHIB was the only one that actually started to reverse up. You can actually see here a major dump on Cardano, major dump on Bitcoin, major dump on Ethereum, right here we had a major dump on xrp pretty much every cryptocurrency as we've known it has had a major short opportunity yesterday that we did go over earlier uh earlier today on the channel here but shiba inu was the only crypto that actually uh really didn't get affected that much i'll be honest with you but we do have to talk about a few things now yesterday's video if you guys didn't watch it i'll explain to you right now but i pretty much said that you guys needed to do this asap as we're starting to break bearish hopefully Hopefully you can see it right here. We did break bearish. I'm trying to, to pause this. Uh, we did break bearish and corrected all the way back down to pretty much our target that we called here. And I want to go in depth and show you guys that. So we are on the four hour. I'm going to swing over to the hourly here. And you can see pretty much the point of break in. So we pretty much started this symmetrical triangle from this point here and then have been consolidating inside of here. Now we had our first uh, symmetrical triangle like this. You can see it's very small here. And this broke us bearish, very small here. But then we started to consolidate into an even bigger symmetrical triangle, which you can start to see here, or a descending triangle, if anything. This is being the support. This is being the top resistance. You can see the bigger one right here. So honestly, all I did was take the bottom support, the mouth of the opening to the top, this resistance level up here, and I scaled this out right here. And you can see for the most part, we pretty much hit our target level on chip. I mean, it's literally almost at that. You can see from the point of breakout here, this is the lowest we went to. This was our target and we literally got this close to hitting it. So this is pretty much the bottom that we're going to. This was the short opportunity, very small on the hourly, maybe the four hour if you were lucky. But honestly, it was just a small short opportunity here. We were anticipating and expecting us to actually bounce off bottom here. I was looking more so for this to bring us down to here and then maybe head back up and complete filling this in here, just like this. And I'll explain why. So I'm just gonna delete this drop right here and you can see why I would consider us to be still playing out here, just like that. This for the most part acts as a major resistance. I just wanna draw this out, or sorry, major support and resistance. This is it. So we've had this major, what appears to be pennant flag forming here. Um, and after we broke bearish from here, I anticipated an even bigger uh, pendant flag forming here. This is now what we're looking at, much bigger than before. The other thing is you can see right now, we actually managed to break through our top resistance. And I'm gonna swing out to the four hour for this. So this is very exciting to me. Um, you can see pretty much since the start, the major break to the upside here in the start, October 28th, it's been probably two weeks now from hitting this top resistance here, we have had no luck. I literally mean zero luck breaking through this downtrend, this trend line here. Every single time we retested it or we wicked above here, we always close the candle on the four hour below it, which is a signal that this is not a trend line to be messed with. And this is continued even here and even here. So they're all signals of major reversal. Every time we hit it, we correct lower. It's consistent. 
We got sandwiched into here. We broke bearish. We fell. Guess what? Just somehow the past couple of hours, we got enough volume to actually swing us above, which is very exciting to me. This could be a possibility of expecting to see another run within Shiba. How big, you say? Well, counting the bottom here, let's just play it conservative. I don't need this crap. Why did it put text here? Um, playing the conservative chart right now, playing, where is it? Price range right here. Let's just say it's a 50% run, an 85% run. That's what we're looking at. If anything, we're looking to retest top resistance once again up here. So the good thing is that we caught this early. So really what I'm waiting for before I buy back into SHIB is for us to close this four hour above the yellow, above the moving average and above the downtrend trend line here. If we close exactly where we are, this is pretty much signaling and hinting at another run to the upside here. That's what I'm looking for. Breaking this downtrend is a huge sign that we're gonna start to reverse back to the upside. So I'm getting excited. Um, hopefully you guys by now understand that we do use BitYard to actually leverage trade Shiba and make the most money and profit here. Not only do they have all the major cryptocurrencies, including XRP, but they also added Shiba in to leverage trade. So unlike Coinbase, which you can literally just buy and sell it, um, BitYard actually allows you to leverage it up to 25x. I usually do 10x here. You can create a market, type in the amount that you want to leverage trade here, and you click buy long or sell short, one of these two, and you can actually leverage trade this crypto. Not only that, I know everybody's looking for money. They just offered a new promotion here on BitYard uh, with the link in the description. If you've signed up or you're already registered to BitYard, if you click this right here, mystery box, it'll actually bring you to a page where you'll have multiple opportunities. Now, I've done most of them, but you'll have multiple opportunities to earn free cryptocurrency right here. Clicking mystery box, you can open it now and you'll actually be able to get crypto for free by following some of the steps here. So very cool. Definitely recommend taking advantage of that. Link in the description. Now going back to Shiba here, I'm excited to see that the four hour actually broke bullish here. We hit our target for correcting lower. I thought, and honestly, I anticipated us to wick all the way down to here, then correct up and fill this out. But the fact that we saw us just break through moving averages, downtrends and resistances is a huge sign for seeing the reversal back to the upside here. So there was someone that I messed around with on the comments down below that was talking about Shiba and I responded to them and um, they probably were right in regards to calling this bottom support here. I don't see a support really, uh, but if you do, that's great. Like you got it right. Um, but regardless, we are breaking through this resistance. So it doesn't matter. We're catching this super early. So expect to see, you know, a movement back up. That's what I'm expecting here. So I'm getting excited. I feel like money was leaving SHIB and now it might start to come back in. So we could expect to see a pretty big run here and I'm going to take advantage of it on BitYard. Otherwise, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's episode. Definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.